I'm on a quest to find the best Division I college basketball experience in Massachusetts, so I found myself at the Mullen Center in Amherst to watch the UMass Minutemen take on the Rhode Island Rams in an A-10 matchup. The parking couldn't be any closer, there was plenty of it around, it was free, and there was also EV charging and the solar panel covers above, giving it a 10 for parking. If you're entering Amherst from the east, like most people from Massachusetts would, you're going to have to drive through the majority of campus to get to Mullins Arena, so you really get the sense that you are at the largest public university in the state. The stadium itself is on the outside edge of campus, but you do get to see all of it as you come in, so it's going to get a 9 for campus vibes. Outside of the arena, you have statues of Julius Irving, Marcus Canby, and John Calipari. I couldn't find any trophies around, but they had pictures of the basketball and hockey players, men's and women's, on the walls inside the foyer. It was incredibly clean, and the hallways were wide enough to probably go eight across. There were huge windows that let entirely natural light into the concourse, and there were banners up in the rafters. It felt more like walking through a mall than a concourse, which was super cool. The facilities are going to get a 10. The stadium itself was fabulous. It was probably the best stadium we've seen so far. The floor design was great, definitely tied with Northeastern in my own personal opinion. The layout of the arena was awesome. We were in row 13, but it didn't feel like we were too far away from the action. They had three large jumbotrons, one overhead and two off to the sides. The only knock on the place was that the overhead jumbotron didn't have a score bug on it. Instead, you had to look directly across to the other side where they had a smaller one below. Or you had to kind of look off to the side and find it on a relatively cluttered jumbotron. But the stadium here is going to get a 9 regardless. The player intros were unique for sure, considering there were two of them. They had a hype video and did the lights when they came out for their warm-ups, and then they had another one before they announced the players. The actual announcing of the players was only slightly above average for the series, but I think that it's still worth getting a 9. The atmosphere in the Mullins Arena was electric by far the best crowd of this whole series. They don't call them the Mullins Maniacs for nothing. It was only about a third capacity, which isn't terrible for 2 p.m. on Super Bowl Sunday, but the place was rocking with every bucket, block, foul, doesn't matter, they were going insane. Plus, how many schools have their own personal hype man and super fan, especially one as cool as Joshua the S-Man? The atmosphere is getting a 10 out of 10. Rhode Island's jerseys were cool, and UMass was wearing their Marcus Canby throwback 90s jerseys. If they were the full-time jerseys, I don't know if I'd like them as much considering that font isn't used anywhere else in their branding, but for a throwback, it was pretty cool to see. The uniforms are going to get an 8 out of 10. The biggest knock on the place was that there were really just no students in the student section. It was mostly alumni filling the stands for this day. But a band and a cheer squad gets you a five. The seats were great. They were comfortable. They didn't feel too narrow and they weren't on top of each other. They were pitched at a comfortable angle and they had cup holders, which I don't think I've seen yet in this series. They're gonna get a nine out of 10. I appreciate the fountain drinks being $3 after a few expensive trips in a row. The alcohol was definitely more expensive, but they had an impressive number of concession stands and a wide variety of food. So they're gonna get a nine out of 10. A late game surge from the Rams and Jaden House's 22 points turned a once 14 point lead into a narrow two point victory as Rasul Diggins scored all 18 from beyond the arc and Keon Thompson all 16 from inside for an 81 to 79 UMass victory. All in all, the Mullen Center is going to get an 88 out of 100, which is absolutely taking the lead in this series and definitely feels insurmountable for our last two contestants, Merrimax Lawler Arena and Stonehill. Check out the rest of the videos in this series on my channel and I'll see you guys next time.